And now, your first alert weather. Good morning from Local News 8 and Eyewitness News 3. It is brisk this morning. Hi, it's Jeff, and it is sunny but windy to begin with. 15 to 20 mile an hour constant winds to begin with. We've seen gusts this morning of up to 25 already. That'll be the story for the afternoon as things begin to heat up. We're starting at 50 degrees in Idaho Falls along the Great Snake River. 39 in Jackson. It's 48 Driggs and we ease into the lower 50s for most of the Snake River Plain. The winds this morning, yep, 10 to 15 miles an hour with gusts of 20 to 25 for Blackfoot and Pocatello in the last couple of hours. We've seen a gust of 21 in Pocatello this hour, 16 for Dubois and Blackfoot, and you'll see more of that as we cruise into the afternoon with brilliant sunshine. You'll need the sunglasses, maybe a jacket to begin with. Are you in town here on vacation? Welcome. You're going to enjoy this, but we caution you about exposure to the sun and hydrating. And always important to make sure you take care of the pets and don't leave anybody in the car. Now, tonight will be cooling, will cloud up with the passage of a system that will just bring us some cloud cover. These winds will continue for the next several days and be gusty at times, but sustained winds of 15 to 20 miles an hour. We get into Wednesday afternoon with uh, the best chances of any kind of showers beginning to pop up in the central mountains as we head toward the latter part of the midweek mark. But this afternoon we see 10 to 15 mile an hour winds gusting in the highlighted areas to maximum of 20 plus miles an hour. So a brisk beginning, but sunny and we warm up before we start storm up. So Wednesday will be the trigger point for that as we cool down into the 40s overnight, 60s by midweek and only in the 30s for Thursday morning. It will be warm today, sunny and breezy with mid to upper 70s for the upper snake plain, a little cooler into the parks and 80 between salmon and Blackfoot 84 for Pocatello. Tonight's moon cast has us in the mid 50s to lower 50s in the mountain communities around 48 in Ledore. We will hit 60 degrees into uh, Pocatello this evening. Your eight day forecast under brilliant sunshine. Look at that camera uh, swiveling. Uh, it's going to be 79 today and the winds will pick up. It'll be in the lower 80s until we drop it like it's chilly on Thursday. Dylan 65 and a 40% chance of a rogue shower or storm. It'll be in the lower 70s for Friday and then we pop into the mid to upper 80s to 90 by the weekend. Yay. We'll take it. Pocatello, it will be brisk today as well. We'll get you to 80 degrees or 84 and then 60 tonight. And then we chill out on into Thursday, only 67. But we ride back up into the heavens with some sunshine and warmer weather by the weekend. Blackfoot, it'll be 80 today, or windy at times, uh, limited shower chances until we get to Thursday. That's the target point for any kind of rough weather and some rain maybe. 79, it'll be 56 tonight in Rexburg. Into Salmon it'll be 80, mid 80s tomorrow and then we plummet into the mid to low 70s by the end of the week. We bounce right back for Saturday and Sunday, mid to upper 80s. It'll be chilly at night. 78 today in Jackson, 50 this evening, upper 70s for the next couple with some cloudiness building and a shower chance on into Thursday, back into the mid 60s and then the plummeting to freezing for Friday morning. What are the best summer staycations? What you got? You, you staying at the Motel 6 in Jackson because you like to go to the Elk Refuge in a Razor. That's fun. There's a lot of cool places around. Dude, there's a lot of yeah. hidden spots to Absolutely. go. Absolutely. 534-9957. Give it to us. We're coming back next. 